Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanmay Bishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ. The question is in front of you. I request everyone, please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start. Well, question, what is the major product of these reactions? It's a very easy reaction. So you can say this is a bromide reacts with this is monosodium acetylide in ether. Obviously, since I am using monosodium acetylide, this ether must be anhydrous ether. Why? Because if water present in the medium that will react with this monosodium acetylide, which is nothing but a carbon ion, and it will react acetylene. Okay, C2H2. So that's the waste of reagent. So that's the reagent, that's the reason such anhydrous condition is utilized. Now, what is the major product of this reaction? So here, I'll discuss the mechanism in little different. I'll give you the actual information of the reaction. Now, if you look at this reaction, here 20% is produced as nucleophilic substitution. And if you look at this 80%, this 80% is actually elimination reaction. No question, why this? So in case of this 20%, this acetylide is acting as nucleophile. And here, in case of 80%, this is acting as base. Now, question, who is more contributing? This acetylides, nucleophilicity or basicity or about the substrate? If you look at this substrate, it's a very interesting substrate. First of all, it is actually a secondary bromide. Now, I guess previously you have studied that if you go from methyl halides to primary to secondary to tertiary halide, so, from left to right, if you go, elimination increases. And from obviously opposite direction, this substitute, nucleophilic substitution increases. Now, you can say one thing, okay, so this is, this secondary is actually a borderline substrate. So, that's why in this case, both process take place simultaneously. I mean, it shows a mixed kinetics. Mixed kinetics means actually elimination, substitution, both take place here. Now you may ask one question that sir, L substitution part I understand, but there was one substitution we have studied means SN1 versus SN2. SN2 case, okay, this ray, this order is favored. Methyl greater than primary, greater than secondary, greater than tertiary. But there was one kind of substitution that is SN1. In that case, opposite thing was observed. Yes, I agree, opposite thing was observed. Tertiary was more efficient, secondary was moderate. But why I am not considering SN1 here? The reason is that, first of all, if you look at this SN1 reaction, so it produces this Rx breakdown and produces ion pair, R plus, X minus, and later on the nucleophile got attached to R and it produces RNU. This, this, it was the overall reaction. But here, in order to stabilize this ion pair, I mean this Rx part, what reagent we have used or what solvent we have used? Generally, polar protic solvents are used. But what about ether? It is actually very less polar or you can say almost non-polar and it is aprotic, no proton there. So if any proton there, for example, OH like that, so that will react with this acetylide. As I told, it will produce acetylene because water means HOH. So you cannot use water, methanol, etc. solvent, which are capable to stabilize this ion pair. I am talking about ion pair, both cation and anion, such that this bond breakage can take place smoothly. So that is not possible because of the solvent also. So I suggest if you feel any doubt, I shall give you some lectures regarding this substitution reaction, role of solvent, nature of nucleophile, you visit, it will be helpful. By the way, if I say what is the nature of nucleophile of this acetylide, it is actually a needle shaped nucleophile, good nucleophile. It is also a stronger base because carbon ion. So both point, it is good, but the issue is with this substrate. So that is, that's why the mixed kinetics takes place. So SN2 reaction, if you see, okay, it's a secondary substrate. Not only that, there is one phenyl ring. So a big electron cloud is there, which can also repel the incoming nucleophile to some extent, point number one. 
now when the reaction happens about the elimination i mean as base that time what is happening here so that time you can expect that okay this benzylic proton is abstracted why because this abstracts it comes this br leaves produces this one here look at this double bond is in conjugation it is a styrene type it is in conjugation with the phenyl ring so conjugation means delocalization delocalization means stabilization so that's why this product is produced not the another isomer because if you look at with respect to this there are two kinds of beta hydrogen exists so this is one beta hydrogen this is another beta hydrogen so i'm removing only this beta hydrogen not the another one so this product will not be produced reason one product stability is less because conjugation is absent here in this case conjugation exists so this will be the major product elimination because 80 percent this is 20 percent so now i guess you understood why elimination dominates over substitution because the product is actually relatively more stable because of conjugation and second thing nucleophilic substitution is hindered because of first point secondary second point is electronic cloud so sn2 cannot take place very efficiently okay now what is the major product obviously this option b is the major product now if you get this question less than 30 second how can you solve easy first you should remember secondary substrate so okay fine so sn1 sn2 combination in nucleophilic substitution and elimination both possible and here this product is more stable because of conjugation and nucleophilic substitution associated with this electron cloud of this phenyl ring which will not by the way you may ask one question that sir we have heard one point that benzyl halides are very efficient for substitution reaction yes i agree why because that time the produce the reaction i mean if you go through sn1 or sn2 any pathway that produced in sn1 case carbocation is resonance stabilized in sn2 case the p orbital produced where one side x and another side nucleophile attached both are in conjugation with this benzene ring so that kind of situation nucleophilic substitution is preferred but it is not at all benzylic position it is the next of the benzylic position and here this benzylic proton abstraction is also favored because benzyl position if you produce any carbon ion or incipient alkene means the alkene is getting produced that is also stabilized by the conjugation with these benzene ring so overall if you look at everything indicates up to this so this will be the major product and some cases you need to go for your gut feeling and but one thing i say student before using your gut feel gut feeling read as much as you can and do as much as you practice such that you can cover as much as you can that will make more that will provide you more assurance to get the correct answer so study is more important okay so this is the overall discussion i believe we have learned a lot if you really consider the content of my channel is worthy then please help this channel to grow and if you have any doubt regarding the logo of my channel then please read this part your doubt will be clear so see you in my next video bye bye